Hi guys, how's it going? So today we're talking about the Pico Neo 2 and how it's being used to train people as to learn how to use a fire extinguisher to diminish any fire in any circumstances. Let's go! By the way, a big thank you to those who went to make a purchase at our merch store. All our designs are limited editions, so do hurry because we will be taking down the jewels in VR very soon. So today we're talking about this guy, the Pico Neo 2, which was, by the way, voted by Time magazine last year as one of the best inventions of 2020. Guys, welcome to VR Essentials. We talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and where you can also get your weekly dose of VR educational entertainment. If you're new to the channel, very nice to meet you. And of course, a huge welcome back to all our regular subscribers. It's always awesome to have you here with us. Not only are we an official channel ambassador to HP, but also Pico Interactive, who have been extremely busy tying up with various different companies last year and this year. They also did a partnership not too long ago, releasing the world's first telehealth clinic, helping patients from all over the world using virtual reality. The Edwards Air Force Base in California, USA, have been working with Pico Interactive to train their jet fighters and various other people as to what kind of fire extinguishers to use so you can extinguish potentially dangerous situations. To get the real feeling that you're holding a real fire extinguisher, all they did is place the remote controller of the Pico Neo 2 on the actual nozzle itself. What's really interesting in the video is how the instructor talks about the pros and cons of using virtual reality to train people doing these tasks. One of the key points is the fact that in the real world, it will be simply too costly and too lengthy to recreate all the various different scenarios time and time again after doing the various exercises. In the real world, they have to recreate all these different scenarios within a controlled environment, but in VR, they can go out and train anybody at any time they wish. The Pico Neo 2 offers great versatility as it provides developers the ability to customize the entire user interface inside of the actual VR headset. What the Edwards Air Force Base was able to achieve is pretty remarkable as the software of the actual app enables people to see what happens when you use the wrong extinguisher. As you can tell in the demo, they show us how the fire spreads and suddenly explodes. These are the kind of things that would be very difficult to replicate in the real world situation if you're trying to go to external companies and train, for example, employees. As well as practical applications, the app also has tons of information about the actual extinguishers themselves, how to use them, how to pick them up, how to squeeze the nozzle and all these kind of different things, which again is going to be very useful for people during a training exercise. The Pico Neo 2 is most probably the best choice in terms of using a VR headset that is completely wireless for the enterprise industry. The graphics are really good, the tracking is awesome, and there has been, by the way, very recently a new software update. And as you can tell, this extinguisher exercise really seems to be very portable as the actual fire extinguisher dummy itself just goes inside of a case with the VR headset. If similarly to the Edwards Air Force Base in California, USA, you wish to develop something similar and you want to get in touch with Pico Interactive, don't hesitate to send us an email. The details are in our about section of the channel. Until next time, don't miss future videos. Do be part of the notification squad by enabling the notification bell after you subscribe.